What's happening guys? Chris from JCD Cleaning Grey Water Drainage. We're short staffed again at the moment, so that means I'm out and about on the drainage van today. We've got a handful of jobs for you. We're at our first one in Deal, where we've got a water treatment facility that needs some help. It's been blocked up from incontinence pads from the previous tenant of this property. So let's start the day. It's a busy one. Job number one. Wee and poo. Keep saying it all the time to on the channel. Nothing else should be going in the drain. Otherwise you get issues like this. So we've taken out as much solid as we can off the top. We don't like to suck up too much of that into the tanker as it blocks the pipe. There seems to be some root ingress. Now we're going to take some water load out and have a look, see what condition the tank's in. So let's get the vacuum on and take some of that water waste out. If it's a water treatment plant, the water gets to a certain level and flows out and will go into the fields behind us because there's so much rubbish accumulated in there, the water's not going anywhere. Um, so that's why the house keeps getting blocked up. But this, as a technical term, is knackered, I would say. There's too many roots in it, and I think it will need a full replacement, So, which is not cheap. That's just, just too big. That's, that's years of ingress. That's not you know, a recent thing. Um, and it happens in wooded areas like we are in now. So. Bad news, I'm afraid. So we've taken a full load out and we've taken plenty of rags and roots out of this particular one. What we're going to do now, we're going to find the nearest reception site, go and empty the tanker, and then we'll come back and take another load out of it and reassess the situation. So let's get down to the Southern Water reception site. So we've just arrived at the Southern Water reception site. So these places are like trying to catch Pokemon, trying to find them. They're not signposted and you can never find them, but we made it in the end. or last a little bit longer than we'd hoped. Get rid of this load and then we're gonna head back to the site, take another load out of it, and then we're gonna head over to our next job. So let's jump out and get rid of this waste.
So we've had a look, we've taken two loads out of this now. We've taken plenty of rubbish out of this one. Having a quick look in there with the, um, with the torch. This septic tank is past its sell by date. It's probably gonna need replacing. It's absolutely full to the brim with wipes, sanitary pans, mud, debris. Um, it's, a, it's a big issue. So we're gonna need a big tanker here to empty it. Um, and then I think we'll need to advise a replacement on this one. Just years and years of abuse. Unfortunately, this tenant's got the tail end of it. So we're gonna clear up now, and then we're gonna head over to our next job, which hopefully is a little bit more straightforward than this one. So we've arrived at our second job. This one is an emergency call out that we've had in between. They've got two block toilets. So let's jump in, get these ones all finished and all cleaned up, and then we'll head over to actual jobs that were planned straight after. Two toilets blocked. One is the one of the residents' bedroom. The other is a staff toilet. Um, they seem to be connected, so we're going to take up the manhole outside, put the camera down there, see if we can see an obstruction, and then we'll probably try and jet the line free and get it nice and clear from. So we put a camera up there, we can clearly see an obstruction which looks like tissue, toilet roll, wipes, whatever it may be. So we're going to bring the van down, check the line out and that'll be a nice quick win for Team Greywater. Grey water. General blockage of tissue, pads, whatever care homes put down the toilets these days. All clear now, jetted it on and off site in about 20 minutes. So, oh, yeah, there we go, it's flushing the toilets. So they should come through nicely now. No blockage there. finished at an emergency call out at a care home, general blockage, nothing that a jetting nozzle couldn't sort out. We're going to head over to Gillingham now where we've got a public set of toilets to have some overflowing urinals, which was a planned job for today. This one was a call out. So we'll head over to Gillingham now and see what we can get done over there. So we arrived at job three, public toilet in Gillingham, Kent. It's got a blocked urinal. So we're going to get in there, see if we can find what the issue is. Usually quite an easy one to fix your rhinos, usually just needs a good clean out from uric acid build up. So let's go and have a look, get it sorted for these guys. Just going to put this in the holes down there just to make, double check there's no obstructions, but it seems, seems clear. That's rough for that. That is rough. <laughs> your your Ryan and Greece are by far the worst. And that, to be honest with you, it smells like they've had some drinking down there as well. So that's clear. Just a normal, normal build up of uric acid. Just going to put some water down them just to make sure they're okay. They seem clear. Um, so unless it's something that's cleared itself overnight, we'll put a little bit of water down them. This one's draining a little bit slower than the others. 
so we're just gonna do our bin, take the U-bend off, get that wash out as well. Give you an idea of what fat and uric acid does as well, we'll be able to see in a minute. See how it builds up around the edge of the wall? There. So that concludes episode nine of the clean sweep for you guys. We're out on the tools again and hopefully we'll be able to bring you some big cleaning and draining projects very soon. As always, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and please do subscribe. That really helps and gives us the motivation to carry on putting out content. Hope you enjoyed the show. We look forward to seeing you guys on number 10.